Are candy rockets a joke? Let's see what happens. First up, we're making rockets with Skittles. We'll start by melting the candy and adding an oxidizer, uh, potassium nitrate. The ratio is about three to seven, but I won't get into the nitty gritty since we're on YouTube. The mixture ends up looking like caramel. All set, let's test it out. I made a test run with a Skittles sausage, but it looked more like, well, you get the idea. It turned out to be a decent smoke grenade. Just remember, don't try this at home. We're the pros here. Skittles were fun, but let's see how it compares to pure sugar fuel. The reaction is way faster. Whoa, a burning chunk of fuel fell onto the grass and not only burned the grass, but also a layer of soil. This is seriously powerful stuff. Now, let's move on to homemade solid rocket engine. We're using all kinds of candy, Chupa Chups, cotton candy, sugar, Skittles, Tic Tacs, and chocolate. Before we install them on rockets, let's test some of them out. First up, a rocket engine made of chocolate. As we can see, chocolate doesn't work well, and it didn't produce rocket fuel, but it made a pretty good smoke bomb. Don't worry, the story with Beastables isn't over. I know how to make real rocket fuel from it. For this, we need to do more than just mix chocolate with potassium nitrate. There are some other steps involved. I'll handle it, and you just need to hang tight for a bit. Next, we'll launch a Skittles rocket using an electric igniter. Safety first. Time to launch. One, two, th three. Ah, that didn't quite work. Seems like the contact came loose. Let's try again. One, two, three. It worked, but honestly, it's a bit weak. Look at it. It's just smoking. So disappointing. Let's see how the pure sugar fuel performs. Oh, what a powerful start. Looks like the wires were too short and it's time to run. The rocket engine exploded and the pressurized cap flew off. That was interesting, but let's head to the testing grounds. I've got plenty more engines to test with sugar, chupa chups, and other candies. Let's test these rockets in real conditions instead. I'm excited to see how they turn out. So I've made a bunch of rockets. Cotton candy, Skittles, chupa chups, Tic Tacs, and of course, our dark horse, the Feastables rocket. All these rockets were made from PVC pipes with end caps and nozzles from pressed clay. The only difference is the fuel. Let's start with the cotton candy. We'll set up the electric igniter and place the rocket on the launch pad. Here we go. Whoa, look at it spin. That's amazing. Sure, the flight wasn't exactly as planned, but for cotton candy, it's not too bad. Next up, Skittles. If I were building a glider, this would be a pretty good option. The rocket burns for a long time, but really weak. Whoa, look at all that foam. It didn't fly, but even a negative result is still a result. I'm really hopeful about the next rocket, and this one will be a Tic Tac rocket. Oops, the rocket fell during the launch, but let's see if it moves at least on the ground. It made some attempts and did move, although not very far. Maybe in the future, we can use Tic Tacs as a slow burning agent, though there are simpler methods. Check out the trail it left behind. Next up is the Chupa Chubs rocket. Oh, it looks like the rocket fell before the launch. I need to fix it, otherwise I'm going solo here. Uh, the result wasn't the most impressive, but it was fun. And here's our final contender for victory, the chocolate rocket. As we know, chocolate burns poorly, but I extracted pure sugar from Feastables and made rocket fuel out of it. I'm curious to see what happens. Three, two, one. 
Launch. It's a win! It's the first one to actually fly! That was awesome! Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Your support is the best motivation for me to keep making new videos. See you in the next one.